Yo, what's going on? Another episode of Into the Gungeon. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Let's see. Uh, let's. <sighs> we lost our streak. We're we're not gonna let us <laughs> let it get us down though, <laughs> because <laughs> we're gonna smack it back in the face with a gunslinger run. Let's see what we can purchase though. Microtransaction gun? No thanks. Platinum bullets. I'm gonna save up for you. All right. Let's go check out what the Gungeon has in store for us. I the Gunslinger. If you don't know, the Gunslinger has the innate powers to have synergies occur. And also starts off with an awesome gun. They can fire as fast as you can pull the trigger. You can probably hear it through the mic, so I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna continue shooting like that. Grrr. As I continue shooting like that. <laughs> he also throws it. This is arguably the best gun. Paradox. Uh, it's so good that the Paradox is unable to uh, to start with it. Unfortunately. There we go. Uh, let's check if it's a Mimic. Ooh, it's a fun little mini game over there. Is it worth it? Then let me work it. Okay. He got a bit. Wait. Okay. So let's <laughs> let's not continue with that. Did you guys know that that's actually like they actually reverse the the words? I don't know. I probably I've probably spoken about that at length before. <gasps> oh, it's one of these big rooms with the campfire. Honestly, I'm not feeling the oubliette this run. I'm feeling a straight to punch out and run. Where we just abuse whatever gun the good lord gives us from this boss fight. Huh! Nope. Nope. Whole lot of none of that. None of that. Uh, honestly, the barrel's still alive. Wow. Oh. Ooh, close one. Oh, man. Okay, so there's a key there. Uh, I was very tempted to shoot a blank there. Um, probably not. Probably not a phrase I want to keep using. Clear the room. Sweet. Yeah, you see what I'm talking about? Like, you can fire this gun so fast. You just have to sacrifice you being able to use your hand <laughs> the next day. <laughs> I mean, if you, you've got like, you know, if you're hashtag too smart for the game, I guess you could set up like a mouse macro. But what is this? Call of Duty 4? <laughs> Modding your Xbox 360 controller so that you can show your mom that you have the highest KD. Get the camera. <laughs> that was the culture though back then. That was like what 2007. You you get that attack chopper three times in one game, dude. You better be calling your mom over. See. Show, show her that you have what it takes to get into eSports. <laughs> Your mom goes, what's an eSport? Is that like an email? Basically, mom. <laughs> you see how unpopular snail mail is now? That's basically where sports are going. <laughs> This, uh, this episode is going to be called Controller Trigger ASMR. Oh, wow, 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 wow. We should have just blanked. Instead, uh, we should have sucked up our pride and blanked. But I was going to say last run we didn't, uh, we didn't flawless the first boss and look where we made it. But then I thought about it a little bit more. And... <laughs> Oh, that's not a very good example, is it? 
Do da do da da do. Ooh, let's go. Two hegemony credits. That's stingy, but uh, I'll take it. We got a wood beam. Speak softly, and that's <laughs> that's a great reference. And carry a big stick is how it goes. I believe that is Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, talking about like, uh, oh man, I'm not much of a history buff, but this is one I feel like all ninth graders remember from history class <laughs> distinctly because you're like, hit, hit, big stick. Hit. That's literally it. You know, ninth graders. <laughs> I was I was about to say I run like uh. Let me take a sip. <clears throat> I was about to say ninth graders are given a bad rap, but it's absolutely false. <laughs> I feel like they're given a little bit too much slack with immaturity. <laughs> I feel like that's the ripe age where you're like, all right, calm, calm down. Like you had your chance to be uh, Mr. Immature in eighth grade. <laughs> no, it goes all the way through college years, though, because then at that point, like you actually start understanding the the innuendos a little bit more, it, and then at some point during college, you're supposed to be over it. You know, when you turn into a real adult, all you care about is your bills. Okay, all right, here we go. Uh, should we go for the fight here? I'm feeling the fight. I don't know why. <laughs> this looks awful. <laughs> smack, smack, smack. Oh, wow. Oh my, okay. All right, this is the most meme of a run that I've done in a while. <laughs> First of all, we're Gunslinger. And then we've opted to not really use a gun. <laughs> can you, <laughs> can this thing die? <laughs> Maybe this isn't much of a boss killer. <laughs> oh man. Okay, what do we get? All right, we get half a heart, half, half a heart and a machine pistol. So this is, um, I, I wouldn't call it a boon, <laughs> what we just received, but it, it's good enough. It's good enough. This machine pistol, because we're the gunslinger, this is gonna be way stronger than it looks. Da -da 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 -da. We're saved. Run saved. By the way, look at our currency. Look at. Uh, did I say currency? Look at our uh, casings. It's a C word. <laughs> what does C word? Yeah, our casings are at. Uh, are looking good. If I do say so myself. That's a. That's an idiom that I want to look up. If I do say so myself, idiom origin. Because I feel like it's, maybe it's not really an idiom. It's more like a, <clears throat> it's just a fancy colloquialism, which, what's the difference between a colloquialism? Cloak, key. Let's not use that word ever again. Ever heard of malpropism? That is, <laughs> That's the uh, state of being, uh, of having English as your second language. <laughs> oh man, okay. I, I I sound like I complain about it too much, and I do. It it. <sighs> Not to get into a soapbox. But like when I was seven years old, 
I had to accept that the fact that I probably will never be like a voice actor or like <laughs> anything like that because I pronounce words a little bit wrong. Like, oh man. <sighs> All right. Well, what's the next best thing? <laughs> Yikes. Okay. There we go. Genji is trying to get out. Genji. <laughs> Genji, you could just ask. You could just ask. I'm gonna prop it open. Don't get scared. He already ran away. Okay. Hold on. Okay, something fell. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Door is cracked now. And, uh... The cat should be able to... Set himself free. Alright. Where were we? Colloquialism? <laughs> <laughs> What do we just say about this word? And maybe, I mean, it was it was just a short-lived dream, right? It's not like I I was hinging my my life, my career at, as a 7-year-old. <laughs> but I, I did spend you know, probably a lot of my early teen years just uh working on my accent. Making sure that I'm pronouncing words properly. I mean, that's... Here I am, using my my voice. As much as I can humanly do so. Now, obviously, I'm not like a an actor, voice actor. You know, I, I was listening to a conversation about voice actors. How there's, um... The line between voice acting and actual acting... You know, if you think about, like, Troy Baker, if you think about, uh, the God of War actor, like, Keanu Reeves, I, I, obviously Keanu Reeves is not the God of War actor, I'm just, I'm, I'm listing names here. Okay, so the, should we buy a key? <laughs> Hold on. Alright, we're definitely gonna buy the... Ooh, this is a tough choice. I'm gonna go for the Elder Blank. Because the Elder Blank can save us from more than two hits, which is what the Heart Locket is worth. Yeah, good choice, good choice. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's head on down. We got the Nod Key, we got an Elder Blank. This is turning into a pretty solid run. Okay, yeah, now that I've unhinged the door, not unhinged, that's not the word. I've, uh, I've cracked open the door so that Genji could leave, he stays. I, I feel like Genji's just a fan of trying to get what he can't get. And I respect that, honestly. You know, it, it, it shows good, good drive. <laughs> uh, probably not as a little boy cat. I'm pretty sure it's just uh, attention he seeks. Okay. But don't we all? Where do we get hit? <laughs> wow. This is a this is a light show right here. Welcome to the gun show. We're looking for the rat room. Um, the table made us take damage. Uh, we're gonna go back to... Ooh, what hit us now? What just hit us? Okay, we're gonna go back to the stick. <laughs> just because it failed us against one boss doesn't mean it's gonna continue failing us. We're just gonna smack around some enemies with this. <laughs> uh, 
It's fantastic. Fant <laughs> fantastic, by the way. Let me write that down. That's definitely going to be the title of this episode. <laughs> fantastic. All right. <laughs> You're welcome. You made it this far in the video, you got the behind the scenes. Welcome. <laughs> it, I It speaks for itself, okay? This uh this wood beam, it's it's fantastic. It's I can't I I can't get away from the word. Uh, by the way, we should be using the Elder Blank a little bit more, you know, as we take stupid damage right there. Huh. And here's the boss fight. Okay. Um, not 100% sure what to fight it with. Let me this guy. Crown of Guns? Okay. It's the Treadnought yet again. Cool. Okay, that's not really doing the trick. Let's try the machine pistol for now. It was pretty consistent before. Alright, we got elder blanks if we end up in a bind. The our our stick won't reach. <laughs> Let's try the mutation. Of course, this does ton of a ton of damage. Elder Blank, good spot to use it. I was just looking at the right bar, which is our ammo, but I was thinking that it was the the, the health of the boss, and I was also thinking, holy smokes, this guy won't die. <laughs> This is gonna take our whole ammo clip. Okay. Uh, we got the key, we got an alien engine. What is your synergy? Okay, you actually shoot something. Interesting. Okay, so did we find the rat room? I don't think we did. Let's keep on searching. Oh, and also we fly. Fly, you fools! We kind of have to shoot like sideways. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about this. Okay, kill the frogs, kill the frogs! Or at least juke the bubble shots. Those things are dangerous. Oh boy. Yep. Yep. This is a good idea. <laughs> Come on. Stick time. Whoa! What do we get shot by? I think it's the electricity. I think the electricity is actually a lot more dangerous than we think. Oh! Okay. We're good. We're good. Oop! It's like we're Pinocchio. Uh, is this worth? Sure. Yeah, I knew it was worth. <laughs> There's a snowballer in here. Uh, it shoots twice. Mega Dowser, are you any good with the? Oh my goodness. Okay, so not technically actually good because that's. It's a little bit egregious. Okay, let's go here. Let's actually use the <clears throat> the alien engine to uh, traverse rooms. That's brilliant. Besides getting hit and falling because we switched from a. Mm, okay. Well, perfect storm. Let's just call it what it is. Huh. I guess you could, if we're calling it what it is, shouldn't it be just stupidity? Um, okay, we got the key. Let's smack around some fools!
You? Okay, well, uh, okay. I was thinking there was like a shaman making you cursed, but it looks like you were born this way. Lady Gaga, Lady Gaga. Smack, 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 smack. Lady Gaga's really like turned her life around. And I don't know if it's like a conscious effort. I guess I don't know enough about her. <laughs> but it really seems like she has her stuff together now. You know. A la Miley Cyrus. Oh, hello there. Do you think you could help me map this pa uh, place out again? Alright, I already finished it. What is this? Aged Bell? No. No, sir. Okay, so here's the thing. We still did not find the rat room. Um, mostly because we weren't paying attention. Admittedly. So, we're gonna spend a couple, couple minutes here. <laughs> Looking for the huge puff of smoke. Wherever P. Diddy last was. Usually there's like a... On the, on the Nintendo Switch for sure, there's like a little lag spike upon entering the room, which is... <laughs> in the least patronizing way, adorable. <laughs> I love my Switch, alright? But <laughs> the fact that it does that is so sad. Alright, can we find this or not? Because we have to prove ourselves after last run. Okay, so this room is kind of crazy. There it is. I had a feeling it was this one just because there was a whole lot going on. As you can tell right here. Duct tape! <sighs> well. Alright, we opened up all this stuff. Um, yeah. I guess we just grab this key. Maybe we grab the... Oh, there's hearts here. Your wallet needs to reload. <laughs> he doesn't like the stick. Okay, so... <sighs> on to the rat floor. We're here for revenge. Because a Metal Gear rat killed us last run. Yep. We're uh we're not gonna take it. 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 Okay, so right down, down, up, left, down. <sighs> we got this. We got this. You know? Not to psych ourselves out too much. We should probably stop using <laughs> the stick if we want the best results here. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> The snowballer might be the gun to use as a room clearer. It stops them from shooting me. So, honestly. Alright, first down. Like, this, this is fully worth the money. What money? The power of the babe. What power? The power of voodoo. Who do? You do. And the power of the baby. Okay, second down. Alright, so this is the, the room where we use the stick. <laughs> this is the room!
You just gotta know when to use the stick. You gotta know when to hold them. <laughs> and when to fold them. <laughs> Up, left, and down. Okay. Alright, there we go. This is how you do it. This is how you make Montel Jordan proud. Uh, snowballer. Okay, I was about to use a snowballer. Up, left, down. Oh boy, that was... Okay, so we have four hearts. <laughs> how, how much of a better position are we in than, pri than the last run? Uh, not much. <laughs> let's just uh, let's just get that out of the way. We're gonna start with the mutation. Probably use the mutation the whole fight because we need to. Uh, and elder elder blank, I'm gonna use as much as possible. Resourceful rat. Juke and juke. All right. Cool. That was a regular blank that we used. Yes, the fight's gonna lag, but you're gonna get that. That's fine. What's not fine? is taking damage from your own weapon. I think the electricity does do damage to us, or is that just the mutation itself? Ah, for now, dude. Okay. Good blank, good blank. We only use 300 ammo. Uh, do we only get hit once? No, we had four health, so we got hit three times there. All right, strive to do better. Uh, we're gonna go wood block. Oh! Okay, we're getting hit a lot. We're getting hit a lot more than I would like. Juke. Juke. Elder blanks. Elder blanks. We gotta use them. Yep, this is the one to use it on. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, well more than half. More than halfway there. We're gonna use a regular blank. And we're out of ammo. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh boy. Oh, what have we done? <laughs> Changing guns. Oh, oh man. <sighs> it sucks to die at the same exact spot as the previous run. Maybe we're on a downward slope. I don't know. <sighs> Maybe we rushed at this run. I don't know. Two 30 minute episodes, two Metal Gear rat deaths does not feel good all right but it's fine if you like the video hit that like button otherwise hit that sub button if you want a few true episodes we're gonna try to do gungeon dailies you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying you know i wish they had actual daily runs but i guess it's not as interesting in in gungeon i don't know there's there's an argument there um but yeah i hope you enjoyed the show and uh i'll see you see you next time see you